Good afternoon, welcome to From Ottawa. My name is Patrick King, I'm from Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. Originally Ontario, but moved out when I was 18. Today I'm here in Ottawa uh, from a very significant standpoint. Officially, as of today, was the two year anniversary of the convoy that drove all the way from Red Deer, Alberta, Canada to come and fight for our oil and gas industry. We came here to step on Parliament, and have our voices heard, and we weren't. So I've been coming continuously uh, as much as possible when rallies like this occur. I guess, how do I say it, to voice my disgust for the government and what they've done to us out west, the way they treated us, the uh, taxation without representation, the equalization payments, the moratoriums on our pipelines and on our, on our uh, harbors to get our resources to market is an absolute 100% um, attack on our, on our livelihood out in Alberta. And today is our two year anniversary and they were holding a rally so I flew out all the way from, from Red Deer. United we roll, two years. Two years as of today we left, yeah, you bet. So today I've been asked to speak on behalf of some of those events and then the events that have transpired over the last couple of years. Um, from journeying across this country to overseas even to investigate a lot of the stuff that's happening around Canada and expose it because the media is the virus. There is no virus. The media and our government um, are the parasites that are draining every single Canadian citizen of their rights, freedoms, and their uh, and their and their more like their their culture is basically being eradicated. If you had something to say to Justin Trudeau today, what would you say, Bob? Justin, you know exactly who I am. I've been begging. I've been pleading. I've gone through every channel to have an interview with you. And you, I've knocked on your door several times, and once again, you disregard your your blatant disregard for my voice and our voices in the, across this country. Your days are numbered. You'd better walk and take a long walk off a short dock. Pat King, Red Deer, Alberta, came 3,000 miles. Yeah. And Pat, tell us a little bit about your mishap coming up to the hill today. <laughs> so I have a prosthetic leg, and when I was walking up from the the flame, I came up and I slipped on a piece of ice, and my prosthetic snapped in half. Yikes. So now I got no leg, but luckily, Patriots came together, and uh, somebody dropped off a pair of crutches for me, so I'll be able to get around somewhat today. Yeah, it's been a, it's always a, it's always an adventure here in Ottawa. Give us a, Pat, give us a final message, Pat, for those people sitting on the couch or digital keyboard warriors at home. Nothing's going to get done if you don't help yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, 100%, the Lord will not help you unless you help yourself. And if you think there's something wrong, voice your opinion, say it, get out there, talk about it, talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your coworkers. That's time. And enough, enough, enough is enough. Straight up. How's it going, guys? How are you feeling? I think we have some beautiful weather out here right now, right? You know, what are we really fighting for, guys? What is this truly about? We have an obligation, no matter who we are, where we come from, what we believe in, to provide our kids with a better world than the one we were given, right? That's why we're doing this. The next speaker I'm going to introduce, he's a personal friend of mine. He came all the way here from Alberta. Yeah, I call him the king because he absolutely is one. Well, everybody put your hands together for Pat King. Can you hear me all the way in the back? I said, can you hear me all the way in the back? That's right, my name is Patrick King and I came all the way out from Alberta. But it has not been the first time I've been here. We've been here two years ago, as of today. It was our two-year anniversary where Alberta got together as a province and drove a convoy of transport trucks all the way across this country to get this Canada back to being where it needed to be. Guess what happened? Nothing. We did all of that for nothing. Now they're telling us you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta be good people. You gotta wear a mask. You know, it's about a pandemic, but you can't go to work. Well, now we're getting hit again. So now everybody in this country is standing back, getting hit left and right. When are you gonna stop getting hit? When are you gonna actually push back? Standing out here protesting is one thing, but the only way to get 
gets shit done is to do it yourself. And that takes everybody in this country. And unfortunately, we are still a minority in this movement, but we are strong. It's going to take everybody's effort to do this. And I sit here today and I look at these buildings and I see what's out there. And I know 100% that these people are laughing at you. They're mocking you. They're sitting here looking at every single one of us going, ha, 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 what are you going to do about it? We're going to vote you out. That's the question that we need to start asking everybody is, what are we going to do about it? We've tried private prosecutions. We've tried the U.S. MCA. We've attempted to bring in foreign governments to investigate our, our treasonous government. Nothing. We're on our own. And until people realize that, we're not going to get anywhere. But unfortunately for me and some other patriots in Alberta, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to walk away from it and show you that we can do it on our own. Alberta's had enough, and it's not that we don't like this, but we're going to say goodbye. Because enough is enough, and every single other one of you in here should start thinking about doing the same thing and pushing your government for the same thing. It's time for referendums. It's time for electoral reform. It's time for the people to actually have a voice, and if you're not going to do it, we'll do it ourselves. And under the law of the land, we can't.